Hi, and welcome to Still Photo Devotion the Photo Tutorials. This is my first tutorial, actually, and it is whitening teeth and brightening eyes. Um, it's kind of a useful little um, tutorial because it teaches how to do non-destructive editing, which basically means that you are always preserving your original image and uh, you're basically working with layers the whole time. So. All your, image, all your image editing is done on separate layers. So I'll show you exactly what that means. We'll just go into Photoshop here. And right now I just have everything closed except for the layers palette here. That's all we're going to need. And I'm going to show you how to basically take any image and use the using the burn and dodge tools, which are over here. Uh, the dodge looks like a little... It looks like a push pin to me, but it's actually what it is is a little stick with you know, something like a piece of paper or something stuck to it, because that's actually what dodging was um, in the olden days, which I actually learned and have done in many times. <laughs> but luckily, we don't have to do that anymore in the dark, and we can do it in Photoshop. And basically, it's just lightening and darkening. Uh, the thing you can do, uh, to, just to keep it really simple, the thing you can do is um, you can do that right on the original image. But that's going to cause problems later on down the road when you want to make adjustments, because you'll have... Um, made image edits to your your original image, which is the background here, and you can't go back after that. Once once you've reached a certain point and you've done uh, enough editing, you're you're not going to be able to go back and adequately change things back to the way they used to be, or or make that you know extreme of edits. So I'm going to show you how to do stuff without uh, destroying your original image and basically keeping everything you know, editable uh, further on down the road. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a new uh, layer. I'm going to assume some basic understanding of how to make a new layer. You just click down here. And we're going to call that, actually, first thing we're going to do is go to Fill, which is under Edit. And then you're going to choose 50% gray. Just keep the blending mode and everything the same for now, uh, which would be normal, just 100% opacity. So click OK. Then we're going to take this down and duplicate it. So now we have two. 50% gray layers. Uh, the first one here I'm going to call teeth, and the second one I'm going to call eyes, because that's what we're going to be working on. Uh, it's good to name your layers because, and I know it seems now maybe that there's only three layers, it's not really complicated, but once you get into, you know, image retouching and you're going to be maybe smoothing out someone's skin or you're going to be adding highlights to their hair and so on and so forth, it's just things start getting complicated. So it's good to, it's a good practice to, you know, name your layers as you go. So what we're going to do is change the blending mode for each layer to overlay. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. And you're going to see that um, it's just going to take the image back to looking the way it does. When I click on and off, or, or the way it originally did, when I click on and off, you can see that it doesn't do anything at all. So. The next step is to go into the teeth layer. And then you're going to choose the dodge tool. And basically, well, uh, before we move on, we're going to choose a brush with 0% hardness, which just means it's a soft brush. There's no hard edges. Uh, whenever you're doing an image retouching on people's faces and that sort of thing, you generally do not want to use a hard brush because if you can see any lines or any, uh, you know, uh, strict kind of lines between where you've edited and it's just going to look fake and not professional. So just keep the uh, diameter small for now. You're going to want to not choose a size that is going to be exactly the size of the image, the area you're editing, just so you have a little bit more control. But that will vary on your image size, of course. So, so basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to paint over her teeth. I'm going to hold down my mouse and keep it held down the whole time I do this. And that's important. I'll tell you why in a second. But let me just go over this one time, just one pass over. And I'm, again, keeping my mouse held down the whole time. Okay. So it's just like painting, basically. You can see that it's whitening. It's whitening up her teeth. And um, the reason you don't lift your mouse and kind of paint a little bit, paint a little bit, is because, oops, because every time you go over it, I'll show you again, it's going to just add, you know, multiply the intensity. You can see this is like a second pass here over it and with my mouse being held down. And you can see how we've lost a bit of detail and things have started to look a little funny. So I'm just going to undo that. 
commands of that. And um, let's scroll up to her eyes. And I'm going to click on the eyes layer. Then I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm going to paint over her eyes where I want them to be brighter. I think maybe I'll leave that part there. Paint over here and just in the corner of her eye. And let's zoom out and take a look and see what we've done just to get a better idea. So I can turn these layers off and on and off and I can see the editing we've done. You can see that her teeth and eyes are a lot brighter and maybe even too bright. Definitely I think the eyes are a little intense, so a little too extreme. So, But that's easy to fix um, because we can just take down, what we can do is take down the opacity on that one specific layer. So let's take it down to about 60% or so. Just see how that looks. Uh, I think that might even be a little too much, so let's take it down to maybe like 50%. Yeah, that's a lot better. You can see the difference as I toggle on and off the layer. Now you can you can notice that there is a difference, but it's subtle and it's it doesn't look fake or strange, right? You don't want that effect of, you know, people are looking in, at your image and people look kind of alien-like and unnatural. I mean, so I guess maybe you do sometimes want that, but in this case we're trying to go for some nat a natural retouch. So we can look at our teeth, and I think the teeth are way too bright and kind of washed out, so we're going to again take the opacity down to maybe about 60%. Let me see what that looks like. Yeah, that looks good to me. I mean, you can fidget with it, and, you know, depending on your image, it'll be different, so don't use these numbers as a guide by any means. It's just, you know, it's up to your discretion. And, uh, you know, toggle it on and off and see what you think, and, you know, it's your judgment call, right? So, basically, oh, there's one more thing I should show you, which is very similar to this. I'm going to make another layer. I'm going to call this Makeup. We're going to do the same thing, just fill it with 50% gray again. And um, we're going to also change that to, it's funny, we're going to change that to overlay as well. And this time you're going to choose the burn, the burn tool, which is this little pinched looking hand. And then we'll zoom in. And you can, the burn tool is the opposite of the dodge, it's just going to darken things. So one thing you can do is maybe you want to make her eye makeup more dramatic or you know, even make make her eyebrows darker or or whatever it is, you know, maybe you want to darken up her lips because they were blending it in too much to her her skin or whatever you want to do. I mean, this probably is a little bit too extreme and I'm going to have to take it down a bit, but let's zoom out here and take a look. You can see that, you know, when you toggle it on and off, it makes a, a bit of a difference. I don't like the lips at all, but let's take the opacity down. Maybe that'll make it look a little bit better. Yeah, that's a little bit better. It just gives it like a little more uh, dramatic look. And you can, you know, t take them on and off and see. You can obviously see that there's a difference, but it's subtle and you want it to be subtle. You don't want it to go over the top, make somebody look like an alien or something, which I think I already said. But um, basically the key to this sort of editing is that, like I said before, you're always keeping your background image or your original image intact and you're never touching it at all. You never edit it. Everything you do is on a different layer. All the editing you do is on another layer. Because let's say, you know, we did this makeup and we have realized along further down the road that it just does not look good at all. You can just take it and get rid of it, you know, and it's basically like you're back to where you started and it's you haven't lost anything. So that is pretty much all I wanted to say. Um, let me know if you have any questions or if something I said doesn't make any sense. But yeah, that is brightening teeth and brightening eyes and uh, just using the burn and dodge tool uh, in a non-destructive uh, image editing way. Thanks.